Blair Angulo here, Rivals.com with four-star cornerback Byron Murphy at the U.S. Army All-American Bowl in San Antonio, Texas. And Byron, you have a big decision to make here coming up soon. But first, before you do that, you have an official visit, your final one to USC after the dead period. What do you look forward to seeing about the Trojans? Right now, they don't have a defensive backs coach, so what do you hope to learn? Uh, definitely, definitely right now, get a good connection with the coaches and then see who the defensive back coach is going to be and then get connection with the players that I don't know. I know a couple when I went to junior day, so just see how I, if I can fit in with the players and definitely the coaches, and hopefully I get to notice when the uh, defensive back coach gets there. Yes, you, sir. you were out there for a junior day uh, last year, and, and what did you learn? What did you like about them? Uh, you know, Obviously, you're going to visit them, um, so you obviously have them high on your list. Well, when I went for junior day, I definitely liked the coaches, Coach Hayward that was up there, but now he's gone, so I have to definitely look forward to that. And the players, the players, I, I really feel like I could fit in with them and be along with the, uh, with the group and the facilities and the, uh, just the, like getting my degree. There was so much help there and the education was perfect. So just the coaches and the facilities got me really good and the, and the players. Coach Sermon actually met with you before the dead period began. Uh, what do he say to you? Uh, how high are they on you? Uh, he just told me to be honest with them and see if I really wanted to come. Don't just waste the time. So I've been, I been—I was being honest with them. I said yes. I still have a—I still have definitely something going with USC, and I told them that I'll come down there January 15th for my official. So he told me I could come in and play right away. I'm still—I'm still on the top of the list. So that was everything he told me. Now you want to commit on your birthday, January 18th, uh, and you have three other schools in that top final four, uh, ASU, A&M, and Washington. Yes, Let's kind of go through that list right now. ASU, the hometown school, two of your close friends, one of them is here, Chase Lucas, the other one's Nikhil Harry. Both of them already committed to the Sun Devils. Um, are they the favorite right now? Would you say they're, they're that school that you know might be a front runner? Um, right now, I'd probably say they're all three equal because everything I looked for and all my uh, questions got answered, they're all equal to me right now. But ASU is definitely, like you said, my best friend's committed, so it put way more pressure on me and how they text me every day. We have a little group message, they text me every day, so it, made, it put more pressure on me. And I just, Coach Graham being the head coach and my defensive back coach was a, a, a definitely a plus. What stood out to you about that visit? Because you visited them already and, and they just lost uh, you know, their defensive backs coach who went over to Memphis with, with Coach Norvell. Um, I heard about that actually on a on a, a reporter. So just with that when I got noticed that I was just like, wow, like what what happened or stuff. But I wanted to get that answer too. So, but I just definitely have to uh, still look at the bigger picture that Coach Graham, my uh, defensive backs coach. So, right. Okay. So with with A and M, also another school that you visited with Nikhil Harry. What did you like about them, and what are they saying to you right now? Because it seems like there are, is a lot of kind of turmoil there too right now with the coaching staff. So I, um, the home visit went well. Everyone came. That Coach Banks, Coach Joseph, and Coach Summon came. We had a great time. I got my questions answered. And um, definitely coming in, playing right away. It showed me the depth chart. How many plays the uh, starters got since their freshman year was a big thing for me. And um, I feel like the players there, I got a good connection with. I know Christian Kirk, he tells me a lot. They work hard up there and facilities was amazing. And um, the coaches really stood out to me. I felt like I had a good connection. We were playing around just being myself, so I felt comfortable with them. Washington's the other West Coast school. What did you like about them? Uh, definitely Coach Lake. He's a he's really a good guy. I like everything he does. And Coach Pete, it's not only about football, it's about just life and everything else. So that was a big plus for me. Facilities and the players, I, I text them, so it's like they're my brothers. So like it's like I feel good with them too. So everything just is crazy. So what what's it going to come down to? I mean, you have four options. What are you really going to decide on? What what are going to be the biggest factors for you? Well, this Thursday my mom gets here, so after that I'm going to sit down. After this uh, Saturday, when I get back Sunday, I'm going to sit down with my family, talk to them, see how they feel, and then definitely just pray and go with my heart. Any other uh, maybe surprise, you know, way to commit? Maybe we were talking maybe cake? Uh, maybe cake, but my mom always got some. She got some crazy stuff, so I'm going to probably let my mom help me out with it. All right, Brian, thanks so much, and best luck. Thank you so much. Yahoo!